George Lucas made a deal to take a base salary in exchange for the rights to a sequel and merchandising. And 20th Century Fox signed off on it. So he got 100% of the merchandising. That is crazy. But let's take a look at that. In uh, 1976, the Mego Corporation turned it down. There was a merchandising director who worked for uh, Lucasfilm for the movie studios. He was trying to get companies to make toys. The Mego Corporation turned it down. Kenner picked up the license, but was not ready for the onslaught of uh, fans clamoring for the for the toys and anything they could get their hands on for these films. So they came up with a crazy plan to early bird certificates. And they would give you four figures. Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, R2-D2, and Chewbacca. Now the Luke Skywalker you see there is now known as Farm Boy Luke. That first run there you see the tip of the lightsaber. That is considered double telescoping. You, after a few months they quit making them like that because it was expensive to produce. So if you can find those, they are of the rarest variety and therefore make them super expensive. As it was, I had several of those and ruined quite a few. Um, but it worked. So many people went on to uh, buy these uh, certificates and uh, it was guaranteed to ship between February and July of 1978. So the, the, the toys began shipping in 1978. So you had the first four, and then a few months later came eight more, and they became known as the first 12. So let's take a look at that. Here's your first 12. So you've got Luke Skywalker there on the left, Princess Leia, Chewbacca, R2-D2, C-3PO, Darth Vader, Obi-Wan Kenobi, who also had a double telescoping lightsaber when he first came out. Stormtrooper, Han Solo, Sand People as they were called that we now know them as Tusken Raiders, the Death Squad Commander, and the Jawa. And the reason I have two Jawas there is because he first came out in that vinyl cape. They quickly uh, stopped producing them that way and went to the stitched cloth cape. If you can find one in the vinyl cape, they're extremely valuable and rare. If you can find one in the package, they're fetching up to $25,000 at auction right now. So it's pretty crazy. But as an added bonus for tonight's stream and this special, I'd like to show you what I've finally accomplished. Right there. I've got them. I've got the first 12. And you see uh, I have the, the cloth cape Jawa, of course. Um, but I'll, there's differences in a lot of the figures, but one that I was able to land, and I'll show you, You've got the big head Han here, as he's known, because Kenner executives did not like this one. Small head Han. You can notice some size differences in him. Let's see if I can put him back to back. They didn't like how he scaled to the other figures, so they went with this larger one. Like I always say, may the force be with you. We'll see you guys next time.